Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful. Perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well. No doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. We are in this super stadium for a super club. Truly one of the iconic buildings of 21st century sport, the Allianz Arena. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Yeah, Mauro Icardi. He's going to be a, a big threat up front, Peter. And for me, it's his positioning that makes him the player he is. He just seems to always be able to find that extra half a yard. And he times his runs to absolute perfection. It just all seems completely instinctive. He makes it look so easy. Yeah, the easiest way to make a difference is to score, so no argument there. Did just miss it. We are up and running already. Battles to win it back. And here's the chance to counter. Paredes. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Icardi. Zawa is charging up on the overlap. Oh, shooting chance! Oof. Goal! Oh. Saint Etienne! Unbelievable. First blood draw. Ah, uh, the chong guy. Oh, what? And, uh, I can give the keeper a little sympathy here because I think he might have been slightly unsighted. However, credit where it's due, it's still a fine finish from a tight spot. Saint-Étienne take the lead, 1-0. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. Well positioned to make that interception. Driving on now, what can they conjure from here? Oh, great ball! Mbappé. Mbappé! He's pulled off a fine save. Mbappe simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. Keeper has beaten it away. Could be thinking about a shot here. Mbappe. It's Danilo Pereira. Could be a chance here. It's Save. Neymar can only think of disappointment right now, but he'll get to appreciate just how good that save was. Oh, it's oh, oh. Oh, very necessary. Danilo Pereira. Paredes. Neymar. It's the head towards the It's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. Maria. Saint Etienne have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt. My opinion to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Chooses to go back. Oh, wonderful effort all by himself. Neymar just backs himself every time. Give him a challenge and he rises to it. 
And this could be the final action of the first half. Paredes is short. Di Maria. And the finish! Oh, oh. That's it for the first half. A breathless ending. Brilliant oh, combination for the first period, but despite all of that, the two sides are still separated by a single goal. Hasn't exactly gone to plan so far, but there's no need to panic. There's still plenty of time to get back into this. As always, an early goal would help sweep things back in their favour. And we're already back on the way here. Paris Saint-Germain don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in the second half. They can't hold back though. Far from making something happen by himself, lovely to see. Debushi. Forward it goes. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Tani. That's gone a long way up and away. That's what has to be done now, no question about it. This is the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Spot on, Peter. Hoist it forward. Well, that's where he wants it. Maria. Maria. Mauro Icardi. Hey, man. It's come through. Shoots. Saint-Germain are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. And the flag has stayed down. Saint-Etienne can afford to settle on seeing this one out by running down the clock, I think. Ooh. Time is up, and there goes the whistle. Uh, it's just a bad day at the office, Peter. 